born in September 24, 1921. I was 21 years old when they threw us out there, and I'm 92 years old now. And I praise and thank God for that. Amen. But let me tell you, they treated us like animals. I hate to tell my condition that I was in when they threw us out in that woods. But I'm going to tell you, because that's the truth. My son Wilson Moran, I was seven months pregnant. Not able, mama couldn't help me, and I couldn't help mama. We had to just drag out there two weeks time, tear down, get on out here, or we'll burn you up. Amen. Oh, I hate to think about how they treated us. We had to get out in a pine sapling woods. They tell us not to move far mm -hmm. away. Right. Because we would get out, we would be the first one right. to get our right. home back. Yeah. Right. They put us out there. We had to put that. They, 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 um, um, tents, tents, and then the, you, you, you cook and utilities. Yeah. Yeah. And then so. black bugs, you just have to be mm -hmm. fine and run, keep them from going into your food. Mm -hmm. They didn't care. The day we moved. It rained. It was the 27th day of July. It the, 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 all our things banked up on one side, and me and Reverend Thorpe and the rest of us bank up on the other side. This young captain, he came by, and he told us, I see that y'all has got the rain is real bad on y'all, but y'all can come down to Miss Livingston barn mm -hmm. and spend the night where the cows used to be. My mother said, no, I'm going to stay right here. Let me drown right here. But we had, I hate to say this, but that's the truth. We had a commissioner was against us. And you know what my daddy said? My, my daddy said he hoped, he said he was howling hell. And I'm hoping he's down there howling. Because he kept us out there. I hope he's down there howling. My mother caught a cold last of five years camping out in that woods. And I don't know how she got rid of that cold. But uh, they threw me out there. They had to hurry, make up some kind of thing before my baby came where I wouldn't be out in the opening. It was sad the way they treated us like animals. I'll never forget. And I thank God we made it, though. And I may not be here because I'm 92 years old now. But I want the young people to get it back. It belongs to them. Our poor parents struggle for that place. And the young people, they need it back. And I hope the Lord, I'm praying, God, give it back to them because they're working so hard. And they ain't giving up. Don't give up. Keep on. God will give you up. Thank you all. Another cousin had a shrimp boat. Another one had a shrimp It was five men with shrimp boats. My daddy named his shrimp boat at my mother. Her name, his shrimp boat. He named his shrimp boat the Miss Amelia. The other cousin named his shrimp boat after his wife, the Miss Amanda. And Reverend Timmons' grandfather boat was named the Ethel T. And uh, another cousin boat was named uh, the Orange Blossom. That was Ben Deligal's boat. They were very short because they had shrimp boats. Mm -hmm. And they didn't like it because they, they, we lived independent down there. That's what they didn't like about it. They meant to get us all there. <laughs> but that's all right. 